Hello everyone, welcome to another Daily Gym. This is the episode for Wednesday, September 11, 2024. I missed Monday and Tuesday because I could say it's because of travel, logistics, but it's really, I think, motivation is slacking these days, so I'm curious to see if it picks up over the next week. Um, today I want to talk about uh, flying to the U.S. on September 11th. So, this may not go super in-depth because I have been traveling for 33 hours now, I think it was. Nairobi to London, 8 hours in London, London to Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Detroit, and then Detroit back to the house. So, oh, and plus the airport strike that I think happened in Nairobi, which... Normally, a security line takes 10 minutes, took me two hours. <laughs> hey, and not just me, but everyone else. Um, and that was, I was originally supposed to fly on Monday, but I got uh, overbooked, so therefore kicked off the flight. Not kicked off, but like they didn't give me a seat. So I had to fly on Tuesday instead of Monday. So it's been quite the journey. Um, but yeah, you know, I thought about it on the way flying in. Uh, I was supposed to arrive on September 10th, Uh, and for those of you who don't know or don't remember, September 11th, 9-11 is a big day in American history. Um, uh, 9-11, it was 2001, right? Hey, yeah, it was 2001. Um, I was, yeah, I remember exactly where I was, but I remember afterwards, uh, I was on the football team, and we'd be out practicing American football. And at one point, we saw one plane fly over over our head, and we're like, what? No, 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 there shouldn't be any planes in the sky. What's going on? Like, I felt fear. I don't know about other people, but confusion and fear. And then now I'm just flying back on 9-11, and uh, security wasn't that strict. It wasn't overhyped in the places where I was. Um, sure, obviously... Um, TSA and uh, the their counterparts in foreign countries and the machines have improved drastically. But, uh, yeah, it's like I almost forgot that it was happening and I saw something in the news where it was showing Biden and Harris and Trump and Vance and a couple other people, Bloomberg and others in a line uh, uh, commemorating, I don't know what the right word is, grieving, um, honoring, honoring the, uh, event and those who had passed away. And I thought, oh yeah, it is 9-11, isn't it? So it just goes to show, I think, that sometimes our emotions towards certain events can change drastically over the years. And also, you know, maybe the salience of them and And also it can really depend on our state of mind and what environment we're surrounded with. I was surrounded with Nairobi and London and and trying to get all my flights organized and this and that, really not paying attention to the news whatsoever. Um, And if it was news, it was what was in the uh, local paper while I was writing The Underground in London. Um, Didn't just talking about like, of course, UK football, uh, the soccer in this term, and a couple of other things, and reality TV shows, and UK politics. But I don't even think it mentioned 9-11. It talked about the uh, the Kenyan, no, sorry, the U, and was it? Ugandan marathoner, I think, who died in Kenya. Is that what it was? Hey, man, my brain is fried right now. But uh, yeah, anyways, just wanted to check in and let you know that I am... Uh, alive and ticking and uh hopefully i will be alive and sleeping quite soon so i will talk to you all tomorrow bye